Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. to the NPTEL lecture series on the calculus of variations. This is the 16th lecture in the series. Recall that in the last lecture, we had considered various cases of uh, the functional where the points A and B can move. Uh, they can move freely in the space or they can move in a constrained way. If uh, A and B are in a plane, then they can move uh, along curves or if A and B are in three dimensional space then they can move either along curves or on surfaces. So, in the last uh, part of the last lecture, we had stopped at this example 15.11, where we considered the functional i y z integral x 1 to x 2 f x y z square root of 1 plus y prime square plus z prime square d x. Here, this a point A is taken to be fixed, that is in three dimensional space, A having coordinates x 1, y 1, z 1 and B having coordinates x 2, y 2, z 2, where the point B is moving on the surface given by z equal to phi of x y. So, here the uh, integrand is uh, capital F, which is given by small f times square root of 1 plus y prime square plus z prime square. And uh, the condition here is uh, uh, the following that f minus y prime f y prime plus phi x minus z prime f z prime equal to 0 and f of y prime plus phi y f z prime equal to 0 at the uh, other end x equal to x 2. And so, uh, these uh, conditions imply that phi x z prime equal to minus 1 and y prime plus phi y z prime equal to 0. Solving these for z prime, we get here z prime by minus 1 equal to 1 over phi x and solving it for z prime, we get uh, z prime over minus 1 equal to y prime over phi y. So, this is what we, we get that 1 over phi x equal to y prime over phi y equal to z prime over minus 1. Uh, here, we see that uh, this phi y phi, phi x phi y minus 1 is the normal to is the normal to the surface z equal to phi x y and 1 y prime z prime is tangent to the extremal extremal given by given parametrically by uh, y x comma y of x z of x and therefore, uh, the tangent will have. So, here uh, the position vector on this is given by uh, x plus y which is function of x and z of x like this. So, the tangent here will be d r by d x which will be i plus y prime j plus z prime k. So, this is what is tangent to the uh, extremal and uh, here what it says that uh, this tangent is parallel to. So, this tangent t is parallel to, to the normal Uh, that is phi x i plus phi y j minus k to the surface z equal to phi x y. So, here this is the surface that is given by z equal to phi x y and at this point this x 2, y 2 and z 2 here. Uh, this extremal is such that this tangent here 
at this point is actually parallel to the normal. So, they, they are in the same direction here T as well as this n which is this one normal to the surface that that means uh, here uh, the extremal this is the point A which is x 1 y 1 z 1 uh, hits here at this point x 2 uh, to the surface uh, orthogonally. So, that is the result which we have got in the earlier case also in the, uh, in the case of uh, when x 2 y 2 z 2 moves along a curve there also we got the orthogonality condition and here also we get the similar condition here. So, if this a x 1 y 1 z 1 also moves then say say on a surface z equal to psi x y. So, here we get this situation that this is the surface uh, z equal to psi x y and a is here that is x 1 y 1 z 1 is moving on the surface and we have this another surface here that is z equal to phi x y and b is moving on this x 2 y 2 z 2. So, this extremal joining this that is x y x z x will be such that here also we have the orthogonality condition and here also we will have orthogonality, con orthogonality condition. The tangent here will be parallel to uh, the surface and uh, here also we will get the similar condition. Now, uh, let us take the case where this example this we will call it 16.1. Here uh, the Bratsch to Crohn functional uh, that is i y equal to integral x 1 to x 2 square root 1 plus y prime square over root y uh, d x and here we take x 1 equal to 0 and y at x 1 which is y at 0 equal to 0 and uh, this point x 2 here. So, the point b which is x 2 y 2 moves on a vertical line line which is given by x equal to x 2 the constant x 2. So, in this case here delta x 2 will be 0 hence we get hence the condition that the variation uh, delta i here it is a function of y only which is f minus y prime f y prime evaluated at x equal to x 2, because here the point A is fixed only B is moving plus at the time delta x 2 here plus f y prime uh, evaluated at x equal to x 2 delta y 2 equal to 0. And since delta x 2 is 0 and delta y 2 is arbitrary. We get f y prime evaluated at x equal to x 2 equal to 0. So, that is what we get here. In this case, we know that here the extremals are see y uh, here y of x must satisfy 
this f y minus d by d x of f y prime equal to 0, which gives us in the in the parametric form form we get the extremal as x equal to this we had already solved t minus sin t and y equal to c 1 1 minus cos t. And so, here f y prime here since f is here root 1 plus y prime square over root y. So, the condition f y prime at x 2 equal to 0 implies that y prime at x 2 equal to 0. Now, here y prime which is actually uh, y dot upon x dot, uh, dot means d by d t and prime means here y prime means d by d x and y dot equal to d by d t etcetera here. So, this is what will giving us this will be sin t over 1 minus cos t and so y prime at x 2 equal to 0 implies that sin t must be equal to 0 and so we get Uh, t equal to n pi and so we get here x 2. So, x from here the first equation we get t equal to n pi. So, x equal to c 1. So, the first solution we will take t equal to n equal to 1. So, if we take n equal to 1 we get t equal to pi and so uh, x equal to c 1 pi and this implies that c 1 equal to x over pi. And so, we get x equal to sorry x 2 here x 2 equal to c 1 pi and so c 1 equal to x 2 over pi. So, x equal to x 2 over pi t minus sin t and y equal to x 2 over pi 1 minus cos t. So, that is what we will get the extremal in terms of x 2 here. Now, the second case where f uh, i is a function of y and z, we get the following. So, that is the next example. Sixteen point two. So, this we take as i of y z equal to x 1 to x 2 y prime square plus z prime square plus 2 y z d x and here again we take x 1 equal to 0 and y x 1 which is y at 0 equal to 0 and z at x 1 that is z at 0 equal to 0. So, a is actually 0 0 0 here and b is a point and point b which is x 2 y 2 z 2 moves on a vertical plane that is x equal to constant. So, x equal to x 2. So, here this is the following picture we have 
x, y and z. So, a is here that is 0, 0, 0 and we have x equal to x 2 here, x 1 is 0. So, plane like this. So, this point B is here that is x 2, y 2 and z 2. This point B is on this vertical plane given by this. So, here we get first this system. So, this system of Euler's equation f y minus d by d x of f y prime equal to 0, f z minus d by d x of f z prime equal to 0 implies that y fourth derivative minus y equal to 0 and z equal to y double prime. So, this solution of the system is the following that is c 1 e to the power x. So, y equal to c 1 e to the power x plus c 2 e to the power minus x plus c 3 cos x plus c 4 sin x and since y uh, since z equal to y double prime. So, z x is c 1 e to the power x plus c 2 e to the power minus x minus c 3 cos x minus c 4 sin x. Now, here this y 0 equal to 0 and z 0 equal to 0 imply that c 1 plus c 2 plus c 3 equal to 0 and c 1 plus c 2 minus c 3 equal to 0. So, adding these, this will imply c 3 is 0 and c 1 equal to minus c 2. Write y x as twice c 1 e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by 2 plus c 4 sin x. Similarly, z x equal to. So, this so y x or y x can be written in the hyperbolic form. So, a will change this constant c 1 c 2 to a and b. So, a sin hyperbolic x plus b sin x and z x is then a sin hyperbolic x minus b sin x. Now, for so at x equal to x 2 we have the condition that f minus y prime f y prime minus z prime f z prime delta x 2 this evaluated at x equal to x 2 plus f y prime x equal to x 2 delta y 2 plus f z prime x equal to x 2 delta z 2 equal to 0. Now, since delta x 2 is 0, so and delta y 2 delta z 2 are arbitrary variation, we get f y prime equal to 0 
and f z prime equal to 0 at x equal to x 2. So, the, these two imply that y prime at x 2 equal to 0 and z prime at x 2 equal to 0. Now, here y prime at x 2 will be uh, a cos hyperbolic x and uh, plus b sin hyperbolic b sin x uh, at x equal to x 2. If that is, so y prime x is actually a cos hyperbolic x plus b cos x. So, at x 2 you get this, if this is implies to be 0 and similarly z prime at x 2 is a cos hyperbolic x 2 minus b cos x 2 equal to 0. So, subtracting this we will get cos x 2 0 and so subtracting we get b cos x 2 equal to 0. So, if cos x 2 is not equal to 0, this would imply that b equal to 0 and then this would also imply a equal to 0 and so y identically 0 and z identically 0 will be the solution. And if cos of x 2 equal to 0, that is x 2 equal to 2 n plus 1 pi by 2, uh, then in this case we get the extremals y equal to a equal to 0 and uh, here y becomes b sin x and z equal to minus b sin x where b is arbitrary. But in this case, in this case, this i y z turns out to be 0, since we get 0 to x 2 here is 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 and we get y prime here and uh, substituting y and z here we get 2 b square cos square x minus 2 b square sin square x dx which gives us 2 b square integral 0 to 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 of here this is cos 2 x cos square x minus sin square x gives us cos 2 x dx and integrating gives us 2 b square sin 2 x by 2 evaluated at 0 to 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 and so this will be 0 because here 2 x will make it uh, 2 n plus 1 pi and sin will be 0 there and at 0 also this sin is 0. So, we get this extreme the value of the extremal at uh, any of those points x 2 uh, given by 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 equal to 0. So, that was the case we had considered in the last lecture. Now, what we uh, consider here where functional we have considered this functional i y equal to x 1 to x 2 f x y x y prime x d x. So, far we have considered y to be c 1 on this x 1 to x 2 and f also smooth at least continuous
now we would like to consider the cases the cases where uh, this y is only continuous and but y prime has discontinuities of the first kind also we would consider the case when f has f has discontinuities here for applications to optics in the case of of reflection we have the following that is here you have some curve here like which is given by y equal to phi x and we have these two points a which is x 1 y 1 and b x 2 y 2 these are fixed, but then here like light ray goes here and gets reflected and then it goes to point B. So, there is a point C that is x 3 y 3 on this which will be moving on this curve y equal to phi x. So, here this extremal uh, this is the extremal y x which joins these two points. So, y x is the extremal joining a x 1 y 1 to a and b x 2 y 2 and it gets reflected from the curve y equal to phi x at a moving point c at a point c which is x 3 y 3 that is here uh, c is x 3 and phi of x 3. So, obviously, here thus y has uh, y prime has discontinuity at x equal to x 3. So, here this is x 1 here, this is x 2 and this point is x 3 here. So, which is the abscissa of uh, the point C and y 3 is the ordinate of this uh, point C. So, C is moving here. So, this ray uh, goes here uh, somewhere here and it uh, gets reflected and joins this. So, uh, like that the C can move uh, on uh, this curve and we need to see that for this extremal y, it, it here what is that which op optimizes our functional given by uh, this. So, that is what is to be considered here. 
and also in the case of case of uh, refraction we have the following that is Here again you have a curve like this which is y equal to phi x and a is here x 1 y 1 and uh, b point is on the other side. So, this curve goes like this and then joins this b which is x 2 y 2 and this point c is again on the curve y equal to phi x which is x 3 y 3. So, here it goes to C and then gets refracted and goes to B. Here there is a, a one medium on this side which here A C uh, is considered and C B is considered in other medium and so this uh, F will be F on here. So, we will have up to A to C. So, this I Y here will be x 1 to x 3, so x 1 to x 2 f of x y y prime d x will then have to be bro broken in this way x 1 to x 3 f 1 of x y y prime d x plus x 3 to x 2 f of f 2 of x y y prime d x here, because here this is a different medium and the on the other side of this uh, curve uh, we have a different medium and then uh, these uh, integrands will be involving velocities of the uh, light ray in one medium and uh, the other time on the other side it will be involving velocity of the uh, light ray in the other medium which will be different and we will apply uh, this thing to the those refraction cases. Also there can be discontinu discontinuities in uh, the uh, derivative of the extremal in other ways which we will explain uh, through some examples. So, let us consider the first case the reflection. So, in the reflection case we have i y given by x 1 to x 2 f of x y y prime d x and this is to be then since y prime has discontinuities. So, at x 3. So, we break it x 1 to x 3 f of x y y prime d x plus x 3 to x 2 f x y y prime d x. And so, here uh, if we call this as i 1 y and plus i 2 y and so the variation of this i y uh, delta i y will be delta i 1 y plus delta i 2 y that will be the linear part in the increments of this and will have this linearity property. And so, delta i 1 here we see that it is uh, the case like earlier this part a, uh, i 1 involves integral up to a, uh, x 1 to x 3. So, here c is moving on this curve. So, it is like our earlier case. So, we can apply this delta i 1 will be then f minus y prime f y prime evaluated at x equal to we are, since here the points a and b are fixed only the point c is moving and so that is what we have at x 3 times delta x 3 plus f y prime. Here uh, we will have to take this x 3 because here 
y prime has discontinuities at uh, c. So, we will have to take uh, the left limit and here we will have to take the right limit. So, we will write x 3 minus denoting that we take the left limit here. Similarly, x at x 3 minus delta y 3 this thing that is delta i 1 and similarly here delta i 2 this at y we will have since here the direction is reversed here we are going from a to c here we will be moving from c to b and so the direction is reversed we get minus sign here minus f of and uh, here, so here since this y 3 since x 3 y 3 moves on y equal to phi x, we get delta i 1 y is f plus phi prime minus y prime f y prime evaluated at x equal to x 3 minus into delta x 3. So, delta y 3 then will be in terms of uh, delta x 3 as before and similarly we get delta i 2 at y as minus here because direction is reversed f plus phi prime minus y prime f of y prime evaluated at x equal to x 3 plus. And so, the condition is that delta i y equal to 0 means delta i 1 y plus delta i 2 y equal to 0, which gives us the condition that f plus phi prime minus y prime f y prime evaluated at x equal to x 3 minus must be equal to f whole thing f plus phi prime minus y prime f y prime evaluated at x equal to x 3 plus. So, this is the condition we get here. Now, so let us see this example. This is 6.3 we can use. So, i y is x 1 to x 2 f of x y root 1 plus y prime square d x and here the situation is that we have a curve like that which is already explained here that we have this a here and b here and there is a curve from which this extremal is getting reflected. So, in this case we get using this let us call it 16.3 like this and this as 16.4. So, 16.3 in this case implies that f at x 3 y 3 square root 1 plus y prime x 3 minus square plus this phi and all they are continuous. So, x 3 uh, phi prime is also continuous only y is y prime is having discontinuity. So, y prime at x 3 minus into f x 3 y 3 y prime x 3 minus divided by 
square root 1 plus y prime at x 3 minus what is square. This thing is equal to f at x 3 y 3 root 1 plus y prime at x 3 plus square putting this square here plus phi prime at x 3 minus y prime at x 3 plus f at x 3 y 3 y prime at x 3 plus divided by square root 1 plus y prime at x 3 plus for the square. Now, it is assumed that this f of x phi x as before we assume that this is not equal to 0. So, we can divide by this and so this implies that 1 plus phi prime y prime over square root 1 plus y prime square at x equal to x 3 minus equal to 1 plus phi prime y prime over root 1 plus y prime square divided at x equal to x 3 plus. So, that is the condition we get here. So, if we uh, denote here, so from this we want to derive the st uh, standard laws of uh, reflection and ref uh, refractions. So, let us consider the case here. So, I have to draw the figure so that this is the curve y equal to phi x. So, here the tangent to this, let us say this makes the angle alpha here. So, this angle is alpha and this curve from going from A has tangent here. So, makes let us say the angle beta 1 and this curve going here. So, B here. So, let us say this tangent makes angle beta 2 here on the x axis. So, we see that uh, the angle of incident will be. So, let us say uh, this alpha. Uh, so, tan alpha is uh, phi prime at x 3 and tan beta 1 is y prime at x 3 minus and tan beta 2 equal to y prime at x 3 plus. So, this is the point C is the point x 3 here. This is of course, the point x 1 y 1, this is the point x 2 y 2 like that. So, this is the point uh, abscissa of C which is given by x 3. Now, using uh, these notations, we see that putting it here 1 plus, so we have 1 plus phi prime means then at x 3 is tan alpha and you get tan beta 1 over you get minus sec beta 1 equal to 1 plus tan alpha tan beta 2 over sec beta 2. So, multiplying by cos beta 1 and uh, here and cos beta 2 there and cross multiplying which gives us uh, the following uh, that is or taking it up there as cos beta 1. So, you get minus cos beta 1 plus tan alpha uh, here. So, that you can write as sin alpha upon cos alpha and multiplying by cos alpha both the sides you get cos alpha plus sin alpha sin beta 1 equal to cos beta 2 beta 1 here 
and plus cos beta 2 cos alpha plus sin beta 2 sin alpha like this. So, this can be written as minus cos of alpha minus beta 1 equal to cos of alpha minus beta 2. So, this means that pi minus alpha minus beta 1 equal to alpha minus beta 2. So, here alpha minus if you look at the figure which we had drawn this alpha minus beta 2 gives us this angle uh, here and similarly uh, alpha minus be, alpha minus beta 1 gives us this one and alpha minus beta 2 will give us this angle which will be then uh, taken one of them as pi minus that thing. So, we get this pi minus alpha minus beta 1 equal to uh, pi uh, alpha minus beta 2. So, here uh, angles, so this actually implies that the angle of incident equal to the angle of reflection which is the uh, famous law of uh, reflection here. Now, we go to the case where you have a refraction here so in the refraction case we get i y as integral x1 to x2 f x y y prime dx will then be having two parts x 1 to x 3 f 1 x y y prime d x plus x 3 to x 2 f 2 x y y prime d x. So, here in the previous case uh, this f is having a set uh, standard form which we will consider now in the second case. So, then we consider this delta i y again uh, this will be uh, i 1 y in this way and i 2 y and so delta i y will be delta i 1 y plus delta i 2 y and here so delta i 1 y because now x uh, that point a which is x 1 y 1 which is fixed only uh, this point uh, x 3 y 3 is moving. Similarly, here x 2 is fixed and only this uh, x 2 y 2 is fixed and x 3 y 3 is moving. So, we get as before here uh, that is f 1 minus y prime f 1 y prime this evaluated at x equal to x 3 into delta x 3 and plus rather minus here the same way because direction is reversed and 3 minus here f 1 minus y prime at f 1 f 2 sorry no f 2 y prime evaluated x equal to x 3 plus into uh, delta x 3 we have x 3 plus 1 sorry here uh, we have one more term delta y 3 plus f y prime evaluated x equal to x 3 minus delta y 3 delta i 1 and similarly delta i 2 y is f 2 minus y prime f 2 y prime here with minus sign it will be f 
plus delta x 3 delta y 3 with the whole of minus sign. So, this also we write minus here. So, this uh, substituting it here, so delta i y will be then equated to 0. So, we will have uh, these things here and we get since now delta y 3 will be written in terms of here, this uh, delta y 3 will be since y 3 is uh, x 3 y 3 is moving. So, delta i y equal to uh, 0 uh, gives us the condition that uh, and since y uh, 3 equal to phi of x 3. Uh, so, this implies that we get f 1 plus phi prime minus y prime of f 1 y prime this thing evaluated at x equal to x 3 minus equal to f 2 plus phi prime minus y prime f 2 y prime x equal to x 3 plus. So, that is the required condition uh, now. So, in this uh, example 16.5, we have this integral i y equal to x 1 to x 2 f of x y square root 1 plus y prime square d x gives us that same way we get f 1 1 plus phi prime y prime over square root 1 plus phi prime square. So, y prime square evaluated at x equal to x 3 minus equal to f 2 1 plus phi prime y prime over square root 1 plus y prime square evaluated at x equal to x 3 plus. And so, here uh, using the same notation that y prime at x 3 is beta x 3 minus as beta 1 y prime at x 3 plus as beta 2 and phi prime at x 3 equal to uh, tangent 10 beta 1 tan beta 2. So, this is tan beta 1 tan beta 2 and this is tan alpha we get same way uh, that cos now cos of uh, beta cos of alpha minus beta 1 equal to over cos of alpha minus beta 2 comes out to be here this f 2 divided by f 1. And so, here in this case use this f 1 is 1 over velocity uh, v 1 and f 2 is 1 over v 2 we get this cos alpha minus beta 1 over cos alpha minus beta 2 equal to uh, v 1 over v 2, which is a uh, snail's law because you can write it as sin phi by 2 minus alpha minus beta 1 over sin phi by 2 minus alpha minus beta 2 equal to v 1 over v 2, which is the snail's law law of refraction. So, we stop here and in the next one we will consider more uh, cases of uh, the discontinuities of the extremals. Thank you very much for viewing this. Thank you.